Hey everyone, this is CW and I'm bringing you my Blue Eyes deck pro profile for August 2018. First, you have your most important card in the deck, your Blue Eyes White Dragon, and I have them in Ultimate Rares. I do have the Starter Deck Kaiba version, but I like playing with the Ultimate Rares because I, I love how they look. Your next most important card is your Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. It's a free special summon from hand, and it destroys uh, something once per turn on the field. Next, you run two of your Dragon Spirit of Whites. Uh, this card's really good in the deck because uh, it's your spell and trap removal, and it banishes a spell and trap, which uh, can be really good against True Draco. Next, for the Tuners... I played three Sage with Eyes of Blue. This is probably the best tuner in the deck. Uh, I love its destruction effect from the hand. That way you can summon a Blue Eyes from your deck. Then for the Stones, I play three White Stone of Ancients and one White Stone of Legend. I've seen many Blue Eyes profiles and probably this is the most frequent ratio that I've seen for the Stones. Next, I play one Master with Eyes of Blue. This card's actually really good. Uh, I love it's a graveyard effect. When you can target one effect monster you're, you control, send it to the graveyard, and if you do, you can special summon one Blue Eyes monster from your graveyard, other than the sent monster. Uh, it's really great. You can combo this off with your Spirit Dragon really well. On to the spells. I'd probably say this is the most important spell in the deck, is Called by the Grave. Uh, hand traps hurt the Blue Eyes deck really badly, and the best way to combat that is with Called by the Grave. It allows your melody to go off. Next is the most important revival spell in the deck, Return of the Dragon Lords. It's good for revival, but it's actually better when it's in the graveyard. Uh, when it's in the graveyard, uh, any dragon monsters you control that would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card instead and it protects your dragons. Then for your draw power, you play three trade-in. Three is a must in this deck. Uh, blue eyes can brick really bad, so if you have a bunch of rank gates in your hand, and a trade-in, you can just pitch one of your rank gates and draw two. Next is your main searcher in the deck, which is the Melody of the Awakening Dragon. This is the card you want to protect with Called by the Grave. Uh, this card gets ashed a lot. Next, I play two Dragon Shrine. I used to play three because I love seeing this card in my opening hand. That way I can uh, get my combos going by sending my dragons to the graveyard. But it's only a once per turn effect. So I just cut it down to two. Then for more draw power, I just play one pot of desires. I think one is just good enough for the deck. Uh, I've played three. And when you play three, sometimes I banish too many of my important monsters and also I don't want to resolve this more than once in a duel. Then for my other one ofs that I play is I play one Monster Reborn, one Soul Charge, one Regeki, and one Upstart Goblin. Uh, Blue Eyes is known for breaking so I want to play the Upstart to make it a 39 card deck to try to make it as more consistent as possible. Then something that's a little bit different in the deck is I play the Sky Striker engine. I play three Hornet drones and two Engage. One uh, another big problem with the deck is uh, it doesn't have a its own link monster for the deck yet, and the Sky Strikers add 
the power to the deck that it needs because you can get it helped uh, drones helps you get as many mon uh, get your token to the field you can go into kagari and it gets more combo started in the deck and you can use your link monsters and especially now with a uh, hayate out it opens up another extra monster zone for your deck For the extra deck, I play two Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. This is the number one synchro monster in the deck, and you want to go into it the most. Uh, it's really great because you can target it out during any activated effect. That way, you can uh, summon another. Basically, you can tribute the Synchro Summon monster, and then you can Special Summon any other Light Dragon Synchro monster from your extra deck and defense position. It's destroyed at the end phase, but if you summon Azure Eyes, Azure Eyes is protected when it's summoned, so that way it doesn't get destroyed at the end phase. And I just play the one Azure Eyes. Next, for a couple more of the Spirit Dragon's targets, I play Michael and Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. This is to remove a problematic card. Uh, this is the same thing. You pay a thousand and you can banish a card on the field. Next for the XYZs, I play Divine Dragon Knight Felgran. This card is really great because uh, you can detach a material from this card, target one face up monster on the field. Its effects are negated, but it's unaffected by other card effects. You can target itself too, so it can be protected. Next, I play the number 38 Hope Harbor Ranger. This card is great against uh, the Sky Striker matchup. You can negate a spell. Then I play number 68. I don't see too many people playing in this in their Blue Eyes deck, but I like it a lot because, uh, first of all, it gains 100 attack and defense for each monster in the graveyard. And then once per turn, you can detach a material from this card. And until your opponent's next turn, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Also, neither player can special summon monsters from their graveyard. This actually works really well against Gokis. Next, I play the Galaxy Eyes package. I play Cypher Dragon, Full Armor, and then Dark Matter. Basically, overlay into your Cypher Dragon, go into Full Armor, pop a card on the field, and then go into Dark Matter to dump three dragons in your graveyard. And then also, your opponent has to banish three cards from their deck and they have to be monsters. Then for the Link monsters, I play a one Deco Talker, a Link Karibo. This is arguably the best uh, Link monster in the deck because if you have a really bricky hand and you just draw one of your uh, level one tuners or like a stone, you can at least link off your stone. That way you can either add a blue eyes from your deck to hand or on your end phase ancients in the graveyard, then you can summon a blue eyes. And then for the Sky Striker package, I play the Hayate and Kagari. I only play the three drones and then the two engage. I just think r running one of each is uh, perfect. Plus, if you need to, you can use the token to summon a Link Karibo. But this really starts your combos off in the deck. And also, I run the Deco Talker to help OTK, especially with these other Link monsters I'm able to put out on the field. All right, that wraps it up for the Blue Eyes deck profile. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe, and have a great day.